derivation of the formula for the list. Healing of the ship. In this graphic, 1, gg sub 1 is the transverse shift of g, 2, the couple formed causes the ship to incline, 3, when the COB is vertically under g sub 1, the vessel is in static equilibrium, 4, the angle of inclination at which this happens is the list. The forces of gravity and buoyancy are equal and opposite and separated by the writing lever and also form a couple which tends to keep the vessel upright. The moment of this couple is the measure of tendency of the vessel to return to its upright position. It is called the writing moment or the moment of statical stability. It is given by the product of the final displacement W and the writing lever GZ for all angles of heel. The relation between them is such that when GM increases, the writing moment becomes positive, and when GM decreases, the writing moment becomes negative. In this graphic, GZM is a triangle. The angle at Z is 90 degrees, and the angle at M is theta, which is the angle of heel. Hence, sine theta is GZ divided by GM. Therefore, at small angles of heel up to 15 degrees, where GM is considered constant, you can use GM as the indication of statical stability instead of GZ. For small angles of heels up to 15 degrees, the value of writing moment can also be found by multiplying GM with sine theta. It is given by the final displacement of the ship multiplied by GM and sine theta. Listing of the ship. In the right angled triangle MGG sub 1, the angle at G is 90 degrees, and the angle at M is theta, which is the angle of list. GG sub 1 is the transverse shift of G. GM is the final fluid GM before listing. Tan theta is GG sub 1 divided by GM. DW is the listing moment, where D is the transverse distance of the weight loaded or discharged from G, or the transverse distance of the weight shifted. W is the weight loaded, discharged, or shifted. It is because GG sub 1 is equal to the final listing moment, DW, divided by displacement, W. The formula becomes tan theta equals final listing moment dw divided by the product of final displacement w and the gm. Here, tan theta is the list, dw is the final listing moment, w is the final displacement, and gm is the final fluid gm in meters or feet. In order to calculate the final list systematically, the following order for work is suggested. 1. Find the final listing moment, dw. 2. Find the final displacement, w. 3. Find the final fluid, gm. 4. Apply the list formula, tan theta equals final listing moment, dw, divided by final displacement, w, and final fluid GM. Free surface effect. Virtual reduction of GM, called free surface correction, FSC, can be calculated by the formula. Free surface correction, FSC, equals moment of inertia, given in meters to the fourth power or feet to the fourth power, divided by volume of displacement of the ship, 
given in meters cubed or feet cubed, multiplied by the ratio of density of liquid in the slack tank and the density of the water the vessel is floating in. Please note that the unit for density is Tm cubed or Tf cubed. Free surface correction, FSC, is in meters or feet caused by the slack tank. Remember, fluid GM is always less than solid GM. FSC varies directly proportional to the density of liquid in the tank and inversely proportional to the density of water that the ship is floating in. This means that the greater the density of liquid in the tank, the greater the mass of the liquid that shifts. Therefore, greater is the free surface correction. Since the displacement, W, of a vessel is also given by the product of the volume of displacement and the density of water displaced, the formula now becomes free surface correction, FSC, equals moment of inertia, I, multiplied by density of water in the slack tank, divided by displacement, W, of the vessel. This now indicates the greater the displacement of the vessel, the smaller the free surface correction. Since moment of inertia is in meters to the fourth power or feet to the fourth power, and density of water in the slack tank is in tons per meters cubed or feet cubed, the free surface moment or FSM is multiplication of moment of inertia and density of water in the slack tank which would be in tons meters or tons feet. When several tanks are slack on ship, free surface moment, FSM, of each tank is calculated separately and then added together to calculate the total FSM. This total free surface moment divided by the final displacement W of the ship gives the total free surface correction of all slack tanks. The breadth of slack tank has enormous effect on the free surface correction caused. If a tank is divided by a longitudinal partition into two tanks of equal breadths and both tanks are slack, it reduces the free surface correction by one-fourth, or it is four times less. If a tank is divided by longitudinal divisions into three tanks of equal breadths, and all of them are slack, the free surface correction will reduce by one-ninth. In other words, we can say that when a tank is divided in breadth by the number of identical compartments, n, and if these compartments are slack, the free surface correction would be 1 by n squared of the free surface correction that would have occurred had the tank not been subdivided. Note that on ships, moment of inertia of each tank about the tank's center line is calculated in the stability particulars supplied by the shipyard. 